This is a book bowl summary of the book Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. Achieve profitability for your business starting today. Launching a new business is an impressive accomplishment, and those who embark on this journey deserve recognition. However, the challenges persist even after the doors open. Entrepreneurs tirelessly pursue growth and sales from day one, aiming to make more money than they spend. Unfortunately, a significant number falls short. Shockingly, half of businesses shut down within the first five years, and surviving ones often operate paycheck to paycheck, accumulating debt along the way. Clearly, this isn't the path to profitability. There's a better, more intuitive approach to earning and growing profits. These insights explain the method and how to put it into action for immediate results. Unlocking Profits Rethinking the Business Formula for Guaranteed Success Across the globe, from small corner stores to massive tech companies, millions of businesses share a common goal, making a profit. The age-old formula seems simple. Sell as much as you can, subtract expenses, and what remains is yours. Sounds like a direct path to success, doesn't it? Well, not quite. A survey conducted between 2013 and 2015 by the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor revealed a staggering 8 out of 10 businesses folding, with a lack of profits being the primary culprit. Surprisingly, the very formula meant to ensure success is often the cause of failure. The formula, as it stands, sets businesses up for failure in various ways. First, it triggers our natural inclination to use up whatever resources are available, a concept known as Parkinson's Law. Entrepreneurs, given the opportunity, tend to spend whatever money is accessible, eroding their profits. The formula also falls prey to the primacy effect, where people focus on what they see first and neglect the rest. Starting with sales and ending with profit, entrepreneurs invest significant efforts into boosting sales, assuming it will automatically lead to profits. However, as revealed, profits remain elusive. So, how can entrepreneurs ensure profits? The key lies in reworking the formula. Instead of deducting expenses from sales, determine your desired profits and subtract them from sales up front. Whether you have a surplus or a limited budget, your natural ability to work with what's available will come into play. Rethinking the formula is a crucial initial step toward making your business profitable. However, it's just the beginning, and in the following sections, we'll explore the rest of this strategy. Simplify financial management by dealing with smaller sums. If you've ever tried to shed some pounds, you're likely familiar with the trick of using smaller plates to consume fewer calories. Similarly, the author had an aha moment when realizing he was funneling all his money into one account, leading to excessive spending. To curb this, he applied the concept of smaller portions to his finances. How can you portion your money effectively? by establishing distinct bank accounts for different purposes. The author suggests five accounts for your business, one for main income, another for profits, a salary account for the business owner, a tax account, and one for operating expenses. Once the accounts are set up, managing them involves depositing revenue into the income account. Subsequently, money is transferred to other accounts, beginning with the profit account. After taking the predetermined profit, the remaining funds are allocated to the rest of the accounts. Each account serves its designated purpose, such as paying company bills from the operating expenses account and handling taxes from the tax account. To resist temptation, especially with profit and tax funds, keep these accounts separate and preferably with a different bank to ensure long-term safety. After distributing money among your main bank accounts, transfer profits and taxes to corresponding accounts at the secondary bank. This separation minimizes the likelihood of spending these crucial funds every time you check your balances. Grow your profits by gradually advancing toward clear goals. 
Now that you've established various accounts, including one dedicated to profits, the next step is allocating money as it enters your primary income account. However, is it wise to immediately withdraw what you believe your business should be earning in profits? Just like many things in life, substantial profits take time to materialize. The key is adopting a slow and steady approach, mirroring the age-old wisdom that slow and steady wins the race. This principle should guide your profit strategy. Identifying an ideal percentage for profit allocation is crucial, and reaching this magic number becomes your primary objective. To define this target percentage, consider examining financial reports of other companies in your industry, especially those publicly shared. By comparing their income to total revenue, you can gauge appropriate profit percentages, providing a clear target. Incorporate this target percentage into the name of your profit account to keep your goal constantly in mind. Once you have a direction, the question becomes how to reach your profit goal. The answer. Take one step at a time, or more precisely, 1% at a time. Initiate profit growth by allocating just 1% of your company's earnings to the profit account, simultaneously reducing operating expenses by 1%. While it might seem like a small step, remember that achieving consistent profitability is a marathon, not a sprint. Envision the consequences of prematurely allocating a substantial 20% as profit, only to face business challenges that necessitate using those profits for rescue efforts. Starting with 1% is a strategic and sustainable approach. Although you begin with 1%, it won't be your end point. Quarterly adjustments are key. Gradually increase your profit allocation, moving closer to your target, and reduce operating expenses by a corresponding amount. The author recommends a minimum 3 percentage point increase each quarter. For instance, if you start with 1% for profits, aim for 4% in the next quarter. Over time, these incremental adjustments will yield significant benefits. Rewards and Safety the purpose of your business profits. Consider your business profits like a cake. You work hard to bake it, watch it grow, but what if you never got to enjoy a slice? Treating your profits this way isn't the solution. Just as you wouldn't devour an entire cake at once, resist the temptation to use your profits haphazardly. Instead, adopt a disciplined approach. Take your profits at the end of every quarter, akin to the practice of large public company shareholders. Anticipate and savor these profits, but refrain from splurging or relying on them for personal support. Allocate 50% of your profits for personal enjoyment. Reward yourself or your family. The remaining 50% serves as an emergency fund for your business, continually fueled by your profits. Over time, as you increase your profit percentage, something remarkable happens. You'll discover that the 50% retained covers business costs for more than three months. This marks the moment when you can reinvest funds back into your business. Take the excess money, ensuring a three-month safety net remains, and strategize on how best to fuel your business's growth. Celebrate this achievement, but recognize it's not the end. There are ways to unlock more funds and further boost your business profits, explored in the following blink. Boost your profits by learning to achieve more with less. Remember the joy of discovering unexpected money in your coat pocket or under the couch. Well, that same feeling can be replicated in your business if you know where to look and what to do. Start by examining your business's efficiency. Are there areas where you're spending more money than necessary or tasks that could be done more quickly? Even small changes can significantly impact your profits. Take UPS, for example, which saved $6 million annually by instructing drivers to minimize left turns, reducing time and fuel consumption. Once you've streamlined your business operations, shift your focus to your customers. If their needs vary widely, you might be spending unnecessary time and money catering to each one individually. 
However, if you identify a common need among your customers, you can enhance efficiency by delivering that one thing quickly, flawlessly, and at a lower cost. Specialize in what your company does best, improve on it, and market yourself to clients seeking those services. The money you save will propel you toward your profit goals even faster. Achieving Business Profitability Managing Debt Without Hindrance For business owners, the saying, it takes money to make money, hits home, recognizing the substantial investment needed to establish and grow a company. Often, entrepreneurs resort to loans, credit cards, or borrowing from friends and family to fund their ventures, resulting in accumulating debt that overshadows the goal of turning a profit. But there's a better way. No matter how deep your debt, allocating a portion of your business income to a profits account is key. By simultaneously paying off debts and building cash reserves, you ensure future expenses are covered. Worried about finding the funds to clear debt? Look to your bank account. Dedicate 99% of your quarterly profits to debt payments, reserving 1% for yourself. While parting with a significant sum may be tough, this approach speeds up the journey to becoming debt-free. Paying off debts is only half the battle. Strategic management matters too. List debts from smallest to largest or, if amounts are equal, prioritize the one with the highest interest rate. Make minimum payments on all debts except the smallest one, directing the rest of your funds toward it. Once paid off, add the freed-up money to the next debt on your list. Follow this method, and soon your debts will be a thing of the past, leaving you with more profits to enjoy. Attaining Financial Freedom Apply the Profit First System to your personal life. Imagine never having to worry about money again, living in your dream home, taking holidays whenever you desire, and having the peace of mind to cover any unexpected expenses. You can turn this vision into reality using the profit-boosting tactics you've just learned. Just as your business manages different accounts for various purposes, apply a similar approach to your personal finances. Create accounts for income, day-to-day -day expenses, recurring payments, retirement funds, and emergencies. Allocate a percentage of your income immediately to your retirement account, prioritizing it over other accounts. If debt is a concern, treat it as you would in your business. Use a significant portion of the allocated money for debt payments with a small percentage retained in the retirement fund. Once the debt is cleared, refocus on growing your nest egg. As your savings grow, resist the temptation to increase your lifestyle. To achieve financial freedom, consistently save as much as possible. Maintain your current lifestyle for at least five years, keeping costs low by researching purchases, exploring cheaper or free alternatives, and honing negotiation skills. While being frugal may seem less fun, you can still enjoy your money and save. When your income increases, invest only half in your lifestyle and allocate the rest to your retirement fund. Over time, your fund will accumulate interest, providing the financial freedom to support any lifestyle you choose. We hope this video provided valuable insights and information for you. What is your biggest key takeaway? Let us know in the comments below. And if you learned something new, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you and until next time.